Rick, uh, police tell me tonight that this all stemmed from conflict. A group of students were hanging out outside of the gym at Dunbar High School when they were approached by an unknown group. Something happened. A fight started. That's when somebody pulled the trigger on an 18-year-old student, sending him to the hospital. Crime tape and bullet shells litter the parking lot of Dunbar High School. Oh, my God. Somebody got shot. Baltimore City Police say shots rang out just before school dismissal. A group of students were hanging out outside the school gym when someone fired on an 18 year old. There's a group of students who were approached by a different group, multiple su suspects, unknown if they're students. Conflict arose. One person pulled out a gun and began shooting. Police say the teenager was hit in the leg and was transported to the local hospital where he is expected to be okay. It frustrates all of us. This comes after a violent weekend in the city where 13 people alone were shot. Nothing is safe here. Earlier this afternoon, WJZ pressed Mayor Brandon Scott about neighbors, saying they no longer feel safe in their communities. I wanted to get your reaction to the weekend violence and what you say to people who don't feel safe in their neighborhoods. We all have to do better to make sure that that changes. Now with the student as the latest victim of gun violence and a suspect on the run, the mayor says city police will leave no corner uncovered to find the criminal who did this. We unfortunately have a, a student, a young person shot today. Uh, what we're here about now is making sure that we uh, find the, the, the cowards that did this to this young man. And now, police say that there were a lot of cameras in that area, so their next step is to go through the video surveillance, hoping that they can track down that suspect. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJC.